What's up folks, it's Wayne Turner. In our last video that we shot, how to fix bad credit fast, we'll put a link down below as well as a little pop-up here. If you haven't seen that, you're welcome to watch it now, or here's an idea, you could subscribe to the channel and see all of the videos as we continue to move forward. Now, before we get started, make sure you like that smash button. Now with the new iPhone releasing back in September, there's a craze to get the phone, me included. It's happened to me, perhaps it's happened to you, and everyone wants to get that new phone with the new photographs and the pictures and everything's really great. However, did you know that you could buy a phone instead of a home? I said that backwards. You can buy a home instead of a phone. That is correct. And you may be wondering how, there's no way, how in the world could I buy a home, a house, instead of buying a phone? Well, Let's dive into that just a little bit. First of all, you need to be running not to the AT&T or the Verizon store, although those are wonderful companies and the products are fantastic, but you should be running to get to your realtor to say, hey, help me find a house. I know, I know, I know, I've heard it. People have told me, wait a minute, Wayne, most people don't buy a phone for cash. They don't take $1,000 and buy a phone. They do it through payments. So how am I gonna get $1,000? I'll get to that here in just a few minutes. But you can purchase a house with $1,000, the same amount of money that it costs to buy one of these big fancy phones. And of course, there are many ways to gather money, to get money. I said that, uh, showed you how to do that in the other video that we'll put a link below with the timestamp and all that good stuff. So you can click on it and watch that and we show you exactly how to get $1,000 in a week. So let that sink in. You can buy a house with $1,000. Now there are several programs out there where you can purchase a house for only $1,000 down. And what's really cool about those is they are grant programs. They're not something where you have to pay the money back. They're literally gifting you the money. In fact, the one that comes to mind is RD, Rule Development. Real, real, rule. Are you, don't ask me how to spell it, rule development. Now with that, even though I can hardly pronounce it and I'm not good at spelling, I can tell you that you don't have to live way out in the boonies and way out in the country to get a rule RD, rule development loan. Those loans are underwritten and guaranteed by the USDA, United States Department of Agriculture. But you can live within minutes of the inner city and not have to be way out in the boondocks and way out in the country to qualify and purchase houses through these types of loan programs. Now, these loans fall under kind of the same guidelines as FHA, even though they're RD. The difference is an FHA insures the loan and this USDA, they guarantee the loans and they're done all around the country. So regardless of what state you're watching this video in, there are these types of loans everywhere. And if you're curious to know where and how and what, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back with you and we'll let you know how, where and when? But wait, it gets even better. Yeah, I sure hope it does. You can have the seller pay the closing cost for you. Now, closing costs always run three to three and a half percent, depending on what state you're in, but mostly it's three to three and a half percent of your loan amount. So if they're putting money down for you, they're gifting you the grant, and from there, you're looking at the loan amount. So it's not difference, not a whole lot of difference between the loan amount and your purchase price, but just technically, it's three and a half percent in the state of Louisiana. I know in Tennessee, it's 3%. Go with me on that. Three and a half percent, but the seller can pay those closing costs, closing, closing costs for you. And USDA guarantees that RD, Rural Development Loan, and gives you the down payment money. So you get in the house for basically, I mean, close to zero. If you got a thousand bucks, you can do it. So by now you're probably thinking, wait, maybe Wayne is on to something. Maybe there's something to this whole buy a home instead of a phone. Buy a home instead of a phone. Now USDA, these types of loans stand out as one of the only mainstream loans that consumers can get without being a veteran or active duty military. Now, if you're active duty military or you've served in the military, you wanna use your, what they call your VA eligibility. And with VA, you can get a VA loan. The cool thing about the VA loans is the government pays your down payment, very similar to a, a rural development RD loan, but they also, they don't charge you. They guarantee the loan, just like USDA, but you're not, you don't have to pay what they call that private mortgage insurance. So it saves you a little bit, which is a percentage of the loan amount, but it saves you a little bit on your monthly payment. So if you're out there listing you or somebody you know is a veteran, you want to share this with them and make sure that they can actually buy a house Regardless of what city and state they live in, in the United States, there's no disqualification for that. Anywhere and everywhere, they can purchase a house 
with a VA loan and get into that home with no money out of pocket. And of course, veterans, I mean, it just makes sense to own a little bit of this land, this country, this place that we all call home here in the United States that they help protect. Although I must say, these phones, they're pretty sexy. I mean, have you felt this thing? What do you mean by that? But I'm not here to sell you a phone or talk to you about a phone. I'm here to share some great information with you so you can make a wonderfully informed decision to potentially build wealth. And of course, some of you may be thinking, how is buying a house gonna build me wealth? And some of you may be thinking, hello, who doesn't own real estate? Right? Let's just put it this way. A house goes up in value and a phone doesn't. But we're just using this phone as an analogy to let you know as a consumer that you can actually purchase a house for $1,000. Okay, so how does a home bring you value? First, how does it bring you wealth? First, it's a tax deduction. Secondly, it keeps you dry. It keeps you cool. It keeps you uh, warm. It gives you shelter. It protects you. And most importantly, it builds you equity. The difference in what you purchase a house for and what you're able to sell it for. I mean, you can refinance a property and pull the cash out. I don't really recommend that because having a mortgage is, and you'll hear me say this over and over again, having a mortgage is like a forced savings account. I purchased my first house. I don't remember the year, but it was a long time ago. I was 21 years old. I purchased my first home for $79,500. I sold it for $105,000. I made $25,500. So if you take that $25,500, now divide that by 60. My mortgage payment was $720 a month. My mortgage payment, I'll repeat that, was $720 a month. I made $25,500. You can do the math. Take $25,500 divided by 60 payments and then subtract what that is, because that's what basically I received each month in return to be subtracted from my payment. I paid less than $350 a month. I just got that money in arrears five years into the future. Pretty cool. And yes, the phone takes beautiful pictures. You can watch Wayne Turner TikToks. You can FaceTime your friends. But what if you could invite your friends over to your house, invite your friends over for barbecues, invite your friends over to play games, invite your friends over for Christmas parties, invite your friends over 4th of July. Anyway, you get it, you get it, you get it. But let me know below, would you rather have a phone or a home? It's a real simple question. Most people will be like, Wayne, I can't live without my phone and I want a home. Well, listen, sell a bunch of stuff, gather up $1,000, call your realtor, look for houses, make sure your credit, we talked about that earlier and how to fix bad credit fast in a video, we'll put a link below. Follow those simple steps buy a house, build equity, build wealth. Now, some of you are watching this and thinking, wow, why wouldn't anybody buy a house? I wanna own a home, I wanna own a home, I can own a home, you can own a home if you're watching this. You absolutely can own a home. Don't let anybody tell you anything otherwise. But some people are like, uh, when I rent, I just make a phone call to the landlord, the manager, and they fix the garbage disposal, the dishwasher, the stove, the islet, the burner, the..." The, the condenser, the gas, the unit, you, yeah, you know it goes on and on and on. It can be overwhelming. So if you watch me long enough, you know I always have something up my sleeve. Around here somewhere. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And that is you can purchase a house with a warranty. It doesn't matter the age of the house. So you can purchase the house with a one-year home warranty. Here's what's really cool. The seller can pay for the warranty. Now these warranties run anywhere from six to $800. They cover the house for a year. And if anything breaks in the home, you simply log into a website, tell them who you are, username, password, they send somebody out, fix it, you pay a hundred bucks, it's done. You don't have to pay seven, 800 bucks for this fix, that fix. Listen, I use these personally. I put them on rental properties, I put them on my personal home, and I have for years. These things have been in existence for literally 30 plus years in the real estate industry. But so many people don't realize you can buy a house just like if it's a certified pre-owned car, if it's a brand new car, it doesn't matter the age of the home, you can put a one year home warranty on it. That way you close on your house, you lay in bed at night, you're tired from moving, you hear things move, squeak, <coughs> roar, groan, <sighs> moan. It doesn't matter if anything breaks because worst case scenario, it's only gonna cost you a hundred bucks. Look, the main purpose in this video is to give you the most reliable, helpful, resourceful information so you can make a best, the best informed decision. I mean, buying a house isn't for everybody. Home ownership isn't ever for everyone, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But I just think by doing these videos and you watching these videos, 
that you're learning from somebody that's been in this industry long enough, broken the sale of real estate, purchasing investment properties, buying, flipping, holding, renting, blah, 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 blah. You get it. But most importantly, I just want you to make the best informed decision with the information that is as accurately as you can possibly find. And of course, owning a home, as I say, is a forced savings account. Every time you make a payment, you're paying a little bit money down. Every time the months and years progress, it's increasing in value. So when it increases in value and it goes down in price, you have equity, you have cash. Therefore, nobody can take that away from you. You're paying your payments. It's a fixed rate. The interest rate doesn't change. It's a forced savings account. So with nothing else to say, I think I'm out. So before I go, do me a quick favor. Like that smash button. By liking that smash button, it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a halfway decent job of bringing credible, helpful, informative information to you. See you soon.